AFK Journey has just officially released. And before you begin, you will want to know these 10 tips that will help you along your journey. But before I share these tips, make sure to check the description where you can find a link to download AFK Journey and a redemption code with free rewards which include 200 diamonds and 18,888 golden coins. And look at all the money I'm making! Now here are 10 tips to help you along your journey. Make sure you are staying on top of your away from keyboard battles which can be located at the bottom left of your screen. I made the mistake of ignoring this and ended up running into a few walls in the game that required me to reach a certain stage in these battles. These battles will also unlock battle modes which include things like realms, duels and arena. Power your team together in order to increase your resonance level. The reason you want to do this is because your lowest level out of your top 5 heroes will be the level of your resonance. You will also need a high resonance level in order to progress through certain parts of the game. To make combat simple, put your melee characters in the front line and healers plus ranged attackers out of range from the enemy. Try to make sure these red arrows are not pointing on any of your backline characters before starting a battle. If you want a more detailed look into your hero's abilities, you can use these features that show the exact numbers of each skill. You can either use the overview tab or you can click on a skill and then click the drop down bar to reveal more details about the specific skill. Your highest power heroes will be shown from top left to bottom right, top left being the highest and bottom right being the lowest. So if you want to put out your strongest possible team according to power level, then you should pick your first 5 heroes. However, you want to make sure your team synergizes well, so picking the heroes with the highest power isn't always the best option. I found a couple of tier lists that you can use to get an idea of which heroes are worth using. The first list shows rankings for Story, Dream Realm, and PvP. The second list is a little more detailed by ranking each hero in other parts of the game. I can't promise these are the best rankings, but I'm sure anyone who's willing to make a website like this most likely has better knowledge on this game than the average player. I will leave links to these websites in the description for you guys to check out. Recruit whenever you want. Personally, I recruited whenever I could to try to collect as many heroes early on as possible. Also, if you get the same heroes, you can use the duplicates to ascend your heroes, which greatly increases their stats. Your gear applies to everyone in the specific faction that you upgrade gear in, so make sure you are upgrading your gear whenever you can. When it becomes available, make sure to join a guild. Guilds provide you with additional content and rewards to be obtained. It's also a great spot to go to relax with your other guildmates. Faction bonuses and faction strategies. The information for these two can be located at the top left of your screen when you're in the battle preparation phase. In short, you will get bonus stats for using heroes from the same faction. In addition, it's important to learn which factions are strong and or weak against each other. This will help you pick your teams based off of which faction you're about to go against so that you can gain an advantage. I hope this video has helped you prepare yourself for your AFK journey. Remember to check the description to get your free bonuses before May 26th. And if you don't, then Chippy will haunt your dreams tonight. Magister, you're here! It's hard being a sticky. But it's real being a sticky.